Welcome back to Medicine Deconstructed. I'm your host, Dr. Jay Rutland. Cancer. We toss around this word, and I think we need to take the time to define it. But to do so, we have to talk about the cell, the basic unit of function of life. Let's get to it. Cancer is defined as a disease caused by an uncontrolled division of abnormal cells in a part of the body. Now, the cell is defined as a mass of cytoplasm that is bound externally by a cell membrane. There are eukaryotes and prokaryotes. Eukaryotes have a nucleus while prokaryotes don't. These are the two types of cells. Humans, animals, fungi, they're all eukaryotes. So when defining cancer, we're going to stick with that type of cell. Remember the cell is membrane bound and human cells have different organelles within the membrane which all have jobs to do to provide different things for the cell and for the body. The human cell has a nucleus, a mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, smooth and rough, ribosomes, Golgi apparatus, peroxisome, and lysosome. The mitochondria are responsible for generating ATP and making the energy we need to survive, the powerhouse of the cell. The endoplasmic reticulum is responsible for protein production and the Golgi apparatus is responsible for delivering the proteins to the right place. The nucleus of the cell houses the DNA, which is our blueprint for everything. DNA has the instructions to make proteins and other molecules necessary for our cell survival. Now, obviously throughout the body, there are different organs and structures and cells are tailored to be able to function within their certain environment. Muscle cells look different than liver cells. But the organelles are the same and doing the same thing in each individual cell. Cancer is abnormal cell division. Now normally for the body to grow or heal, cells will divide. Typically speaking, we call this process mitosis. Mitosis is a type of cell division that results in two daughter cells, each having the same number and kind of chromosomes as the parent nucleus, typical of ordinary tissue growth. In cancer, genetics are altered and the cells continue to divide more and more and more. Depending on where the cancer cell is, this can give you a clue with how the cancer may lead to a patient's death. The easiest way to look at this is thinking of it or of cancer as its presence in a vital organ. Vital organs are those a person needs to survive. These are the heart, the lungs, the brain, the kidneys, and the liver. I would certainly like to include the immune system, but you can survive for a time without it. Look at our bone marrow transplant patients. If you have cancer, or cancer metastasizes to any of these vital organs, this may take your life because the organ cannot function. When we are screening for cancer, we are trying to catch it early enough so it does not lead to vital organ dysfunction, morbidity, and mortality. Screening for cancer is extremely important because as medicine has advanced, human beings are living longer and the single greatest risk factor for developing cancer is age. The more life experience we have, the older we are, the more likely we will develop a cancer somewhere in our body. So please remember those skin exams, those chest CTs for those that qualify, colonoscopies, prostate exams, and breast exams or mammograms. Let's protect ourselves so we may have more life experiences as we gain that life experience. I'll see you next time on Medicine Deconstructed. Thanks for joining. We'll see you on YouTube, on Instagram, and a future podcast in the coming future. Take care. Yeah.